And now, Reformer802.com Real Talk blogger Shanta asks you to ponder this. Perhaps it could be classified as a borderline obsession. Or is it an addiction? Maybe. But the it in question is my fascination with surrender. I've talked about it before on this show, and I never went much into detail in regards to describing exactly what that looks like for me. The thought occurred quite unexpectedly when I took a break from my desk a few weeks back. I paused in my short walk along the water as I watched a leaf fall to the ground. Gracefully minding its own business, I just watched. This was nothing special because all of the trees are shedding their leaves at this time of year. I watched as another leaf detached itself and floated to the ground, and I started to take a careful look, and the word that seems to always be with me appeared, surrender. And the natural question, of course, surfaced, if surrender had a face, what would it look like? This is the same question I posted on my social media, and it surfaced in my mind as I watched this particular leaf fall. If surrender had a face, it is indeed the child of autumn, a leaf. The leaves change colors, depart from branches to embrace new environs, whether it is soil, concrete, water. They become pierced with holes, moved by the wind, and or discolored. Without uttering complaints, the autumn leaf just is. Or at least if they are uttering their complaints about such changes, I can't hear it. But here is my main point. An autumn leaf does not explain away the shift or change upon its body any more than it can explain its living and death. It just surrenders to it all. What is the vision of your surrender? Surrender. 